Time now for the weekly RPG News Rundown. The first official adventure to use Dungeons & Dragons' new 2024 rules is Uni and the Hunt for the Lost Horn. The adventure features the characters from the classic 80s D&D cartoon who are trying to keep Uni the Unicorn from the evil sorcerer Kalek. It's designed for a party of 4th level characters and should last just one adventuring session. Uni and the Hunt for the Lost Horn is available now for free on D&D Beyond. Beetle and Grimms will be releasing a premium map collection with the maps from the upcoming 2024 D&D Dungeon Master's Guide. The collection will include 30 battle maps, which will be full-color versions of the monochrome maps in the appendix of the 2024 DMG. There'll be also two canvas area maps of the city of Greyhawk and Eastern Auric, as well as a unique DM screen themed around the Greyhawk setting. The premium map collection retails for $160, but if you pre-order by October 6th, the price is $144. Loot is a new fantasy RPG that mashes up looter-shooter mechanics with hex-crawling and some West Marsh's aspects. The game runs on the Lumen 2.0 system, which is diceless and features exploration and fast combat. Loot is on Kickstarter now. And new from Green Ronin, it's a Cthulhu Mythos source book for Fantasy Age 2nd Edition. The supplement includes new ancestries, magic, GM advice, and rules to support using Mythos in your Fantasy Age game. Cthulhu Mythos is available on Green Ronin's web store and on DriveThruRPG. Ars Magica will soon begin a crowdfunding campaign for its fifth edition, which includes releasing the entire game system, as well as its setting, under a Creative Commons license. This license will permit free sharing, adapting, and even the sale of derivative products. Also, if there's enough backer support, the entirety of the fifth edition source books will also be released under Creative Commons. The game is set in what it calls Mythic Europe, grounded in real medieval societies, but featuring magic and other fantasy elements, and it was first published in 1987. Ars Magica 5th Edition has a preview page on Backerkit now, and the funding campaign will launch on October 15th. Order of the Stone is a new campaign for Call of Cthulhu. It encompasses three parts, in which players try to prevent an ancient and malevolent entity from being freed. The campaign offers maps, handouts, and pre-gen characters. Order of the Stone is available through Chaosium's web store or through DriveThruRPG. Through the Hedgerow is a new RPG from Osprey Games, presenting a blend of folk horror, fairy tale vibes, and historical settings. In this world, supernatural forces clash for domination over fey and mortal beings. The game offers several historical periods in which to play, from the Dark Ages to World War II. Through the Hedgerow is available now on Osprey's web store. The world of Arsium, developed first for a series of board games, is now getting a dedicated tabletop RPG. Along with rules for play, the book includes maps, history, lore, and geography. The world of Arsium RPG comes to retail on October 16th. The Tales of the Valiant Game Master's Guide has been released, and it's the latest rulebook from Kobold Press's Answer to D&D 5.5, along with the already released Player's Guide and Monster Vault. The Tales of the Valiant Game Master's Guide is available now on Cobalt Press's web store, and there's also a free downloadable preview of the book. Chaosium has revealed the results of their basic role-playing system design contest. There are three winners and seven runners-up. One of the winners was Nuna, a game about survival in a frozen world and the recovery of lost treasures. Another was Season of Magic, a game about witchcraft, and Titanosphere, a pulp science fiction game featuring monsters and mechs. You can read more about these games and the runners-up on Chaosium's website. The highly anticipated Discworld RPG is approaching its Kickstarter launch, and this week, Modifius made a Quick Start Guide available along with a teaser trailer. The Quick Start Guide includes both rules and an introductory adventure, and the game is built on Modifius's new Narrativium system, which was designed specifically first for this game. The Discworld Quick Start PDF is available now for free from the Modifius website. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, has published a supplement for Dungeons & Dragons containing three new subclasses, one each for the Druid, Paladin, and Ranger, and as you might guess, these subclasses are themed around protecting animals. The subclass supplement is available now on PETA's website. A new adventure book is coming for Candela Obscura, the horror RPG from Darrington Press. The book is called Horrors of the Fairlands, and will have a limited premium edition available, which will include maps, a GM screen, props, cards, and handouts. This book is published by Beetle and Grimm in partnership with Darrington. 
Horrors in the Fairylands will be released in February of next year. Deadlands Abominable Northwest is a new release from the Savage Worlds line. It's a weird west adventure set in a strange and dangerous version of the American Pacific Northwest. The adventure contains new foes and new savage tales and comes in at 212 pages. Abominable Northwest, along with Carnage in the Cascades and Rise of the Black Circle, are together in a Kickstarter campaign now. A new one-shot adventure has been released for the Fablecraft VTT called Object of My Affection. It was created by Felicia Day, features a carnival location and theme, and it includes voice acting from Day, Jonah Ray, and other voice actors. The Tales of Fablecraft software is available for free on Steam and is available for both Windows and Mac. Object of My Affection is available for $9.99 from the Fablecraft in-game marketplace. The latest installment in the Natural Library series is the Mycologist's Primer. It's a system agnostic resource for RPGs, which focuses on fungi, lichens, and molds. The prior two books in the series were the Herbalist Primer and the Geologist Primer. The Mycologist Primer comes to Kickstarter on October 15th. Narrative horror podcast Welcome to Night Vale is getting an RPG from Renegade Game Studios. It'll use the Essence 20 system, which is a 5e-derived and d20-based system. There'll be a box set available with three rulebooks, an adventure, 11 pre-gen characters, and Night Vale branded dice. Welcome to Night Vale is on backer kit now. The Time We Have, A Conversation Between Brothers is a new RPG designed for two players, which explores family bonds in a post-apocalyptic setting in which one of the players will be a character already infected with a zombie plague. The game includes unusual mechanics, such as the two players being separated by a closed door and the use of tarot cards to prompt the conversation. The Time We Have comes to backer kit on October 29th. Rip Crypt is a new RPG designed with fast action and immersive storytelling in mind. The game is set in a dungeon-like underworld beneath ancient ruins, and the game's goals are to make RPG play more accessible and more engaging. Rip Crypt will be coming to Kickstarter later this year, and a free preview is available now from Grit Silk Games. A new quick start guide is available for the upcoming The Expanse Transport Union Edition, which includes rules and an adventure. The new edition will move the timeline forward to the Transport Union era from the novels. The full Transport Union edition is on Kickstarter now, and the quick start can be downloaded from Green Ronin's web store or through DriveThruRPG. A new RPG called One Last Fight is a GM-less RPG for 1-4 to four players using cards as story prompts. Players work together to defeat a nemesis also created together. One Last Fight is on Kickstarter now. Voltron is coming to the tabletop in a new RPG from Catalyst Game Labs. There isn't much detail about the project yet, but we do know that the game will use the new Dice Core system. The Voltron RPG will be coming to Kickstarter next week. And that's the news for this week. I'm Dave, and thanks for watching.